Now let's say the button is pressed and which happens to be a red button. Then it should enter red 1 state and then it remains in red 1 state until no button is pressed and when a button is pressed and if it's not a green button I'm sorry I should say blue button then the system enters wait state because in the past code sequence the second right code is blue which is not entered so the system should go back to the wait state now let's say a button is entered and if it's a blue button the system will enter a blue state and no unlock is issued and it remains in blue state until no button is pressed and if a button is pressed and if it's not a green button it should go back to the wait state because if it's not a green button that's a wrong code the right code is green button so if a button is pressed and if it's indeed a green button then it should go to the next state as you know the next state is red 2 state so if it goes to the red 2 state then the unlock pulse will be issued so this is the same bubble diagram drawn in a different way as you can see after a green when a button is pressed and if it's a red button that is a, it goes to the red 2 state and then the unlock pulse is issued so what happens after the unlock is issued when the unlock is issued the system should go back to the wait state that is what represented in the red color arrow at the end now how are we going to encode all these different states well we can encode it in many different ways but for this lab we are going to use a technique called one hot encoding one hot encoding is a exclusive coding that means as you can see in this table each state has a unique 6 bit code so when the state is in its state we have all six zeros in wait state it has lsb1 and then in start state the second bit is 1 likewise red blue green and again red 3 4 5 and 6th bit is 1 it's like 1 is being shifted from right to left one position each for each state so to store this we need to have a 6 bit memory so to, to store this 6 bit we need a 6 bit memory so what we are going to use is flip flops when you download the zip file from course web page it has all the necessary codes that contains the 6 bit register you just need to add it to your project so this is the implementation is going to be we have the combinational logic which forms the circuit which takes the input from the buttons and it issues an output and there is a feedback mechanism where a flip-flop gives the state and the combinational logic will output a next state and we are going to provide a clock from internal clock so the main aim of this combinational logic is to determine the next state so how are we going to determine the next state by using combinational logic well how to transition to start the system needs to be in wait state and a start button is to be pressed when this happens the system goes to start state or else the system remains in start state when the system is already in start state and no button is pressed so the expression is going to be wait underscore s and start the whole thing or start underscore s and not of button that means the system is in wait state and a start button is pressed or the system is already in start state and no button is pressed as you can see the simple impl implementation 
we get the Verilog expression. Now, each state we are going to encode by using one hot encoding. So, how are we going to encode it? So, the code for start S is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So, that means the first bit of the state register needs to be set. What about weight S? The 0th bit, the state bit is going to be all zeros. So, that is what is represented here. Now, we can write next state of 1 as the Verilog expression we just derived and initially we need to say the system is in wait state so for that we say start state 0 and then for start state we say st state 1 and then from start state the next state is going to be defined by using the given expression. Similarly you can create expressions for all the other states. For example, how are we going to handle the initial state? Well, as I said, when the system is turned on, it automatically enters the initial state. That means, if the system is in not one of the previous states, then it enters initial state. For example, if the system is not in state 5, not in state 4, not in state 3, not in 2, not in 1 or not in state 0, it is said to be in initial state. So that is how we are going to give the expression for this project. Now we have a DFF underscore clear code provided in your zip code. Please use that as a flip plot register. And this is how we assign the next state. So the exercise for you is going to be to derive the expression for next state of 2, next state of 3 and next gate state of 4 and so on. Please read the lab manual instructions carefully and it's easy to write the further expressions. And this is the code controller we are providing you. All that you need to do is you need to fill these and you need to <coughs> fill the expressions for these for next state of 0 next state of 1 is already provided 2, 3, 4 so you need to just fill out and complete this code once you have done that you will be able to do this experiment thanks for watching please read the lab manual carefully we don't have a pre-lab quiz this week best of luck